Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! Last time, we heard about the battle that's about to take place in the Elven Forest, or Spirit Forest, so... But in order to progress with the plot, we gotta talk to everyone around here, so let's go do that. We have Star Traffic Syndrome here, so... See, we got Greek there, Ciel is in the... Barracks, or wherever all the beds are. Okay, how's it going? Where are you going? Oh, well, we're going to be going in that direction, too. You want to come with us? No? No, I, I guess she's not coming with us. Oh, well. Hey, how's it going, Irene? Well, one of us is going to have to die. So, hmm, nuts. Oh, well. See, I think Ignis is around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. I don't remember him being over here. Thought he was a little higher up there, but I guess I'm thinking of it earlier. Hmm. Maybe they wandered off to the secret place? Hmm. Nah, they couldn't possibly have gone outside. Yeah, they have. They have. So, that's pretty much where we gotta go. Yeah, pretty much uh, everyone else is out there. Uh, let's see, we talked to everyone in our party. So we got Raphael, Cecilia, and whoever that mystery new party member is that they got. Now, if you want to know what's going on in this scene, well, you're going to have to play Cecilia's path. Yeah, Raphael and Cecilia are talking there, but we can't quite hear what they're saying. Maybe they're planning a date or something. Ha ha. Well, technically, you're a... a spy of sorts, aren't you? What's going on? <laughs> I just like the expression on... Uh, his or her face. <laughs> what is this, a peep show? Oh, I guess not. Hmm? Well, I guess Cecilia isn't... Oh, yeah, apparently so. I guess Cecilia isn't uh, falling for Raphael's advances. What do you mean? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh, and then, of course, the big dragon comes in the room, and her elephant comes in the room, and ruins everything. Nuts. Ha ha. Serves you right. So, what is going on with you two, anyway? Uh, I, I didn't touch her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I... Huh? Oh, well, we're just getting ready to uh, destroy the world. I, I mean, uh, save the world. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you're not really sorry. What do you mean by that? Yeah, probably. I wonder what Virtus has to do with all this and... Who is the other one? Uh, Velvet. We haven't seen her in a while, either. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm out for revenge. Uh, not to uh, prevent a battle from happening or, or, or anything like that. Yeah, just ignore my uh, rambling there, Greek. Drink some more Lagoda Vaster. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. What does she need to go to the Empire for? Did they say something about that? Or... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they've said why she needs to go there. Oh, because she needs to go, go to all the monoliths. Right, right. Yeah, okay, I suppose. You are kind of one of the big three, and I am kind of a subordinate to the big three. Who is the third one, anyway? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. Sis, you do have differently colored hair. I, I assume she means that figuratively. Yeah, you kind of got all those big walls there. You'd figure someone would be able to fly and get in there. Or bomb the place or something or other. Yeah, you never broke into the place. Yeah, the back door. The underground door, really. You came in through the ass end of the fort. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was way at the beginning of uh, Levant's pet fair. Well, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there probably would be a whole bunch of guards there. Although it would make it really easy for you to win uh, royal liquids. But sadly, we can't do that on the Vant path. One of the very few items that's actually easier to get on Cecilia's path than Levant's path. Hmm? W what do you mean? What do you mean you're not going? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, you... Want to know what she's talking about? Play Cecilia's path. But yeah, this is one of those instances where I think it's definitely better to have played Cecilia's path first, so you know what the hell they're talking about. Although, if you haven't, you probably wouldn't care, so it's not like you're really missing something critical or anything. Uh, well, his confidence comes from his big gut and the regular basser. Yeah, you're pretty furry, too, dude. But, okay, well, now that we're done here... Oh, yeah, I suppose I don't really need to heal up. But, uh, well, now we need to talk to everyone again! <laughs> but, yeah, uh, everyone this time is in the right basement area, so... That's where I'm gonna go. Do I have any titles that I haven't, like, turned in yet? No, no, not yet. I think I'm missing, like, six or seven titles still. And some of them are just take a really long time to get. You really got to go out of your way for them. And in that case, it's not really worthwhile anyway. So. Hey, you two are talking again. How's it going? Hmm, what's true? Yeah, yeah, I was just jacking with you about your entire race being annihilated. No, no, you don't, uh, you don't joke about that sort of thing. Even Greek knows that much. <laughs> yeah, now you're just talking crazy, Greek. No, no, Virtus is not God. that thing anyway. Huh. And it wiped out your entire race, pretty much. Good job. Yeah, maybe you should have, like, negotiated or something. I don't know. Okay, so we got uh, Greek and Ignis there. Let's see. Irene is over here. Okay. How's it going? Hmm. Yeah, probably. And let's see. Ciel is over here. Ha ha! What's going on? Oh. 
Yeah, I guess she just says the same thing as before. But I think you have to talk to everyone anyway. Hmm. Does that thing say anything? No? No? Okay. I was just assuming. Okay. How's it going? Oh, hey. How's it going? Uh, Lafina. Did we hear that name before? I think they were talking about her before. Oh, yeah. I guess she was kidnapped or something, but they, uh, they got her back. All right. Well, I'm a little old for you, and, well, I've already got a girlfriend, but thanks for asking anyway. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, you might want to watch out for that. I like her winking uh, avatar there. Okay, so now that we've, uh, yeah, we talked to everyone, let's talk to Irene then, and then we'll be done here. Yeah, yeah, let's rest up for, well, phase five now. Meanwhile, uh-oh, he's got all the stigil fragments, or, well, three of them. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's probably not important. What are you going to do? Summon a giant robot? Oh, okay. I kind of like how they do that with uh, why Faust wants the Stizzle Fragments. It's like, oh, I, I really have no use of them. It's just that I just want to make sure they don't get their hands on them. It's kind of like, imagine if Golbez was collecting all the crystals in Final Fantasy IV, and then he's like, oh, what are you going to do with these things? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to make sure that the good guys didn't get a hold of them, because they might be able to destroy me if they did. Or whatever these things do. I wonder if Faust, like, dropped that Stutzel Fragment, not just, not so much to, uh, what is it, not like by accident or anything like that, but like, maybe he did that deliberately to throw us off the trail, because it seems like what Faust was really after was the, uh, what is it, the secret, or the uh, forbidden art of Rebellious there. And maybe he dropped that just to kind of throw us off of what he was really after. I never thought about that before. But anyway, you see all those uh, negative battle points on the destruction side there? Yeah, that's from using the Dark Wrath spell. But I mean, look at how many points I got otherwise on creation. It's just ridiculous. The Dark Wrath spell, you totally don't have to worry about it. And it will be getting more powerful soon. So worry not, viewers. Uh, let's see. No, I think we're good. Let's, uh, get a little bit of a start on Chapter 5. Why not? Hey, how's it going? Oh, I wonder how long they've been there. Yeah, probably a few centuries. Well, sure it is. Just, you know, build a fort and everything. Oh. What small village? There are no small villages. Well, there are, but we just never are able to go to any of them. They just kind of talk about them. I kind of like that, in a way. I mean, I like having all these little out-of-the-way towns, but... It's nice that they talk about places that sometimes you just can't go to, but they're there. I don't know. It makes the world seem bigger than it actually is or something. Hmm? What's that? Oh. 
Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's kind of not on your side anymore. Oh. Nuts. Maybe we can convince him otherwise. Surely that will be the case. Surely Bon will listen to reason. Well, I'm kind of with Argent now. Don't you know that already? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. But yeah, no uh, tower sequence for phase four there, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, we did a couple in the last one, so... Okay, how's it going? Thanks for the beds. Better than Klingon beds. Holy cow. Those things are hard as rock. Well, they are rocks, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, they, they kind of left. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about them. Where are they going, anyway? Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Focus on the mission. Revenge! Oh! Yeah, I suppose so. She is? She looks pretty young to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose that would uh, kind of make sense. <laughs> I like how she's hiding behind Greek again. <laughs> well, yeah, elves do kind of live forever. Or at least long enough. Ah. Oh. Okay, sounds like a plan. But yeah, uh, in order to go to the spirit forest, you have to talk to Golden. And once you do that, you can never go back. You can't just leave the forest and then go do something else, like on Cecilia's path there. No, no, I can't do that. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying here, but oh well. But before going to the Spirit Forest, well, there's some other things that I want to take care of first. So, if you want to do that, you got to do it now. But don't talk to Golden if you don't want to do that yet. Don't do it! But anyway, now we have more party members with CL, who should pretty much be with us for most of the remainder of the game. So, all right. So let's see, now that we have CL in the party, let's uh, rearrange the party a little bit. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff for Irene there. Now, in order to switch party members from your reserves, all you gotta do is do that, boom, you got it. Oh, yeah, and uh, Formation, because Yell has long-range weapon, we can put her in the back row there. All right. Now, let's see. Now that we have a fourth party member, one thing you can do is equip some lenses that would normally only affect your main party. I think the discerning specs applies to that. I believe also the uh, binoculars would apply to that, too. Uh, so would the... Uh, what is it? Illusion Cloak, Peace Mantle. I'm not going to take advantage of that just yet because chances are if you're playing this path first, uh, you wouldn't have those, so I'll just ignore that for now. But yeah, a lot of things that would only affect your party, your, your main party, you would think, can be equipped on a reserve party member who isn't in the battle itself. But discerning specs don't affect the battle anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, no, I, th I think we're good. Oh, yeah, um, well, now let's, let's not worry about that just yet. Okay, so we got, let's see, Force Comb. Okay, so yeah, we want to get, uh, CL re ready to go. So, let's see, how many Force Points do I got there? Let's see, yeah, we got a lot of Ragnapaks on Levant's path there. 
probably gonna need a lot more uh, course points eventually. So let's see, I'm gonna need, let's see, 5,000, then 15, so that's 20,000. So I need 24,000 course points to max out, max her out on Tex and all that other good stuff. So let's do that. Let's uh, convert two of those, but I still wanna save three. Let's see, we're doing good there. Let's craft a whole bunch of Eden Novas. I have a whole bunch of extras of those. Be careful not to get rid of that Aid King. Okay, that ought to be good enough. So yeah, this, this is one of the reasons why I've been holding on to all of the um, items in reserve for uh, Force Point and stuff like this. All right, got it. So let's see, we got Tinkerbell there, which, or not Tinkerbell, uh, Arrow Rain that hits all enemies. And now we have a white aspect ability that hits all enemies. I really like CL for that, especially during random battles. CL's pretty much better in random battles, while Irene, better in boss fights where you're fighting one enemy at a time in there. So, and, but basically she has a lot of the same kind of abilities that Irene has like a high accuracy attack, hitting a column, but she has an attack that hits all enemies, too. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, another thing I want to craft for her is a Grand Ray. In order to do that, craft a Swift Ray. Then you use that to craft a Noble Ray. Then you use that to craft a Grand Ray there. Nice thing about the Grand Ray there, yeah, it has a hundred attack power and it's blue aspect. And it's really good against dragon type enemies because, oh, uh, it's really good against dragons with Snake Eater. It's huge. Uh, Turn Undead is really good. I mean, these are all really powerful abilities. I mean, you got even more attack power than the Ragnifact itself. So, yeah, that's huge there. Okay, let's see. You also want to get an Igneous Orb, which I am out of. So I will need to craft another one. So let's craft a fresh one there for you, Sia. That'll be pretty useful against some other enemies. And let's see, let's get an electric orb there. Okay, now you want to get the Yahate. Let's see, a Stardust Cape for a little bit of force boost there. Let's see, Swift Boots are good for you. And Lucky Lenses. Okay, we got all those. Let's see, Levant. Let's see, now Levant can equip the Shine Crail since I don't have Irene in my main party. And he can use uh, some different abilities from what she could use. I mean, he could still use like the ones that I care about. He can't use Force Burst. But, like, he can use Southern Cross. Uh, let's see. He can use some abilities that ignore defense that Irene could not use. Yeah, anything that ignores defense is really, really good there. So, yeah, that's why I really like that on him. Let's see. Got that, that. Let's see. I want you on the Meteor Boots. I'm going to give the Hyper Fast Deal to Greek there because he could use the... Uh, the Agility Boost more than Levant could. Let's see, okay, so you got Tough Bandana, that, that, that. Okay, we're all set there. So, one thing I want to do before leaving is I want to cook some more recipes. Let me see how many, uh, let's see, we got two Royal Liquids. How many Dragon Meats we got? Two Dragon Meats, awesome. That means I can cook two more of those SNS recipes for the... Can I cook some stuff? Thank you. Yeah, uh, let's see. That is the one I want, right? Yeah, yeah, that is. Okay. So yeah, I want to cook a couple more of these for the need food side quest, or dying youth side quest. So let's cook up one more of those, and then we ought to be pretty good. Okay, so that's everything I think we can do here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here off screen. I'll meet you back at Palfina, or the, the Great Temple of Palfina. And then we'll do some side quests before heading to the Spirit Forest there. Next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.